I cannot tell you how nice it is to have easy to peel eggs. An easy to peel egg, the shell, it just slips off. It, it practically jumps out of your hand. When you cook an egg wrong, you get this egg that just looks dimpled. It looks like a bad case of acne happened to your egg. If you're fighting against peeling your egg, there's an easier way. I'm Jeff Potter, I'm author of Cooking for Geeks. Welcome to my kitchen. We're cooking a bunch of eggs today to figure out how to make them easy to peel. This is a really big egg. We've got an ostrich egg and an emu egg. Hard cooking an emu egg just kind of seems like a sin. But hey, in the name of science, this is a bucket of myths. Yes. Each one labeled with another idea of how to make an easy to peel hard cooked egg. The number of tricks out there to try to make easy to peel hard cooked eggs could fill a book. There's baking soda, there's salt. Somewhere there's an infomercial about egg peelers and the frustration housewives have with cooking their eggs. Peeling is such a pain and what a mess. So there's, a, there's this telephone game of how does stuff actually work in cooking and you hear one thing from somebody else and they heard it from something else, but if you're, if you're fighting against peeling your egg, you're doing it wrong. The right way to cook a hard boiled egg is to steam it. Most people think about parts of the egg just being the shell and the white and the yolk. It's actually a little more complicated than that. There's the shell, and there's actually two membranes that are mostly collagen. This is a super tough protein. And those two guys are actually responsible for keeping the egg, well, basically safe. So when we're talking about chicken eggs and membranes, it's sometimes kind of hard to see, but on an ostrich egg, it turns out to be kind of easy. That's membrane. Check that out. When it comes to hard-cooked eggs, the shell and the membrane on the outside of the white can stick to that white. This is the membrane on the emu. I don't think you could make deviled emu egg. I think the egg is just too fragile. So this is not sticking at all to the egg white underneath, and that's what we're looking for when you go to steam an egg. The secret to easy to peel eggs is actually getting that egg white to shock. In cooking, when we say shocking, what we mean is to change the temperature really quickly because that steam hits the outside of that shell, the outer part of the egg white cooks really fast and doesn't stick to the shell. So the worst thing you can do in terms of making them easy to peel is to start them in cold water. I am struggling. This one is not easy. And that's because the egg white is actually sticking to the membrane. So many people think that shocking it in ice water is really important. It's not for peeling it. So here is an egg that's been steamed and then dropped into ice water. And you'll notice that the bottom of this is much more round than an egg that was steamed but not dropped into ice water. So the ideal way to hard cook an egg is to steam it and then drop it into ice water so that you get a nice round shape. If you don't care about the egg having a nice clean round shape in the bottom, I'll just steam it. I mean, a steamer is just a little wire thing that holds the egg up above water. You can also just put a quarter inch of water in the bottom of your pan and the egg's mostly not sitting in it. So steaming an egg for 12 minutes will give you a nice yolk that's set up but not dry. If you like your yolks a little bit runny, if you're gonna need to play and go a little bit less, my guess would be nine minutes, eight minutes, but go into your kitchen, try it out, see what happens. The worst case that happens is you piss off a chicken that spent 25 hours laying the egg. 